Former President Donald Trump claiming several times the FBI planted evidence at his Florida home during a search there last month. The special master appointed to review the documents is challenging now the former president to make his claims official by submitting them in court. Joining us today to talk about all of this is moderator of NBC's Meet the Press, Chuck Todd. So let's get into it. The former president has insinuating several times without providing proof that federal agents mm -hmm. might have planted this evidence in his home. Those are not words that you kind of throw around. Well, if you're Donald Trump, he has a habit of throwing words around, and, and I think he has a history of it. And here's the more important part. He's, he and his lawyers have never alleged this in a court of law. Why is that important? Because if you commit perjury, you could go to jail. So the fact that he says this at a rally, he says this in an interview, he never says it in court, and the lawyers never say it. So I think that, to me, you know, we got to deal with the facts that they introduce in court and not the, the speculation that they feed to their base. So uh, in other Trump news, uh, this week's New York, uh, mm -hmm. the attorney general filing this lawsuit against um, the former president mm -hmm. and members of his family. This is a civil right. lawsuit. Um, they're saying they're basically saying it's fraud, that they committed fraud. What kind of the rep right. repercussions of this could? Because it is civil. This is civil, but she did uh, issue a criminal referral to the Southern District of New York. She has alleged that there were federal crimes. They'll look into it, and let's see, at a minimum, there's yet another federal investigation into Donald Trump's, and in this case, it's his business and his business practices. The, the direct suit that the Attorney General filed, yes, that's civil, and that could end up being fines. It could maybe ban any of the Trumps from being officers of other companies in the state of New York. Um, and it perhaps it only serves as a nuisance to him over the next few years. But to me, the most damaging, potentially damaging thing she did was the criminal referral to the Southern District of New York because uh, you never know what happens when the feds start looking around your finances and they're very good at this. So if you know he could find himself with yet another criminal investigation uh, if SDNY is aggressive. Headed into the midterms, how do you think any of the, or do you think any of these things will, will impact um, the candidates that the former president supports? Yeah. You know, it's interesting, I had a political consultant say, you know, Donald Trump lives on the cliff. And I was like, what do you mean by that? Meaning he's never afraid to be standing on a cliff that he might fall. Like he's fearless the way other politicians aren't. So you ask, like, how is he able to sustain this? Well, look, he's been he's been chased by the law for decades. Right. And he is sort of always sort of slipped out. So this isn't new to him. The pressure doesn't bother him. He is sort of he's used to it. It's like so he I thrives. think that's why. Uh, yeah, that's how he, he does it. And yeah, and for him, it's thriving, right? He likes to feed off of it. But I'll tell you this, we're up to seven or eight. You need a scorecard to keep up with all the various investigations. There's one in Georgia. There's a D.C. one. There's a New York one. There's, you know, there's one in Florida. It, 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 there's a ton of this and you can't keep up. But here's where it could become problematic. And I've talked to some Republicans who are nervous about this. The Democrats essentially like to uh, attack some of these Republican kids saying, hey, look, they're, they're, they're totally, they have 100% fealty to Donald Trump. Would you? Have you seen what's going on with Donald Trump? And so that's where this could become uh, an extra anchor that Republican candidates are dragging around, especially if they've not figured out how to distance themselves from Trump. Many of them don't want to do it because they fear that the base will turn on them. So that's another thing that, that why Trump is able to survive things that most politicians couldn't because the base is stuck with them. We always love to talk to you, Chuck. Thanks so much. And you can catch more with Chuck Todd on Meet the Press. Watch it Sunday morning at 10 a.m. right here on WCNC Charlotte.